Hi, it's Malcolm here, and welcome to this video about ladder software. Now, um, I've now started to support ladder software after quite a long time not supporting it. Um, and, you know, sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes you kind of grow and learn new things. And I kind of didn't talk about ladder software for quite a while. And then, as I got more and more into trading, I you know, bit the bullet, had a go, and have never looked back. So I obviously, you know, want to show people that, you know, I, I know what you're going through if, you, if you've, you're if you finding the, the ladder a bit difficult to, to work with. Or it, it, you look at it and go, oh, no, no, there's just too much there to, to handle. Um, you know, this video is about talking to you people and just saying, look, actually, it's not that bad. It's actually quite easy to use once you get, once you just get used to it. Um, and it's so useful when you do because you know you can do things instantly where on the Betfair interface it can take time um, you don't have all the information straight at hand you have to push buttons to get the graphs and things like that whereas with the ladder software you don't need to now there are obviously different types of ladder software but generally they look pretty similar um, you can have things changed around I've got like just about everything I can on my ladder so I've got the most information that, I, that is available for me to make decisions on where the price could go um, next um, and that's why I set it up this way so I'm going to take you through it now if you're using something like Geeks Toy or one of the other pieces of software out there you'll probably find you can set yours up similar to this um, or you may not want it all similar you might want different charts down here you might want to um, charts all over the place I mean that you can obviously with this software I have different charts um, so the candle is is a popular chart among scalpers and things like that so you could have the candle charts up or um, another one price over one you can have set up um, and you could have this probably down here instead of the other chart I actually like this I got the short-term chart and the long-term chart that's the way i look at it so this is shorter term kind of what's been going on in the last few minutes this is what's been happening since the the market's open so you get two views of the market um so basically you can set these up on on bed angel you have this set up here um and you can go through the different um parts of the ladder um allowing you to have different charts set up um different columns showing um, here just by ticking them you can turn columns off and turn columns on so as you can see I got most of mine ticked and um, the type of charts you're going to see um, what happens with unmatched bets and additional information um, display orders of stuff you know you, there, there's lots um, you can have and you can have this enhanced area over here as well if you want to which kind of shows you more stuff you can actually detach the ladder um, if you want to as well, so you can have it separately on Bet Angel. Um, I think on Geeks Toy it's automatically detached anyway, but um, you know, it's just basically setting it up how you want. So let me run through some of the bits just so you get used to them. Um, obviously, the values you normally have your main price, which you normally set in settings, so you tell the stake, and then you can have these other prices. Um, so you can set up loads of different types of values that you want um, I haven't got many set up at the moment um, but you can have these on each runner you can have how many runners you want on the screen I prefer to stick to the top three myself um, a lot of people stick to the top four or five um, I just stick to the top three for my trading um, that's the way I, I tend to do it um, I think that's where most liquidity is and as a lot of my trading is done earlier in the markets I need to be on the ones with the most liquidity and that's normally the top you know one two or three um, but you can have four or five, how many you want. So we got the prices. Um, this is telling you what's happening as far as your bets are concerned. As you can see, I've got no bets in the market. Um, if I went in and placed a bet um, somewhere, then it would automatically start to show up where I could make profit and where I could lose it. It's kind of my hedging information. So if I went in, oh, I don't know, if I went in there and placed a bet, um, Sorry, I don't want to do that actually because that's on a thousand quid. <laughs> so <laughs> if, I, if I went in there and placed a bet, you can see immediately um, that 
you know, if I placed another bet there, I, I, I'd make zero profit. If I place a bet there, I can make 70, um, 13, 26, um, 38. So I could go in there and say, okay, I'm going to see if the market comes back to me up there. Um, this market doesn't look, yeah, I'm not too sure what it's going to do. But, you know, if you're doing one tick, you just go there, see if you can make some money there um, and do that. And that shows you, obviously, you have this greening button here, um, which is all, not always the best way to do it. Um, but it can show you I could zero out now and it will place a bet here because it knows I can get matched and zero But I'm going one tick up just to see if I can get matched there um, So yeah, so that's the hedging if I as you notice when I when you place bets they either place uh, in that side or that side depending on whether you're backing or laying and um, So as you saw my my lay bet came here Well, it didn't because it was instantly matched because there was enough money on the other side um, my back bet is sitting there waiting to be matched though um, because that's where the um, that's where I want to make my profit if I drag that down I'd get matched instantly and zero out so uh, um, you know that's where it is this is the trading volume this is where the money's been trading at the moment during the day so you can see this has been a pretty tight window so we're kind of at the top of it and by the way this has been trading, you kind of think it's probably going to go up and down. I might be lucky enough to be traded there because it might go back up to there as well. So I could move it up and say, well, maybe it'll go there. Um, but I'm going to wait here for the moment and see what happens. Um, but it does look as if it's it's kind of right at the top of its trading window as it has been today. But that volume is kind of showing you that that's where... It's been trading, of course, that can change, especially in the early markets when there's not much money. Any sizable sum coming can change the markets one way or the other. Um, and this final col column is, I don't, I don't think this is unique to Bet Angel, but it's kind of giving you an estimation of where you are in the queue. So this is saying I'm 50th in the queue. Um, it's not dead accurate, um, but it, it does kind of help you. So you kind of know, you know, how, how quickly you're, you're getting closer to being matched um but sometimes it it doesn't always reflect exactly but it's it's kind of just nice to know where you might be in the queue and just you know wait for it as i said i've got the betfair graphs down here so it shows you know long term there's also this um kind of weight of money on either side uh, using these two figures at the top and the bottom this is based on these three figures so basically that's saying there's 162 pound waiting to be matched on that side on those three figures and 186 on that side so it's kind of saying that there's a little bit more money on the lay side so you could argue that means the market might go up i mean you know it's it happens sometimes it doesn't always um, and that goes by the percentage as well so there's 53 percent on the lay side which kind of means that the price may move up but they're so close that um it doesn't really make a difference you know suddenly money can come in on the other side like it has here um, which could force that that price back down again so it's it's only and as you see it's changed from that side to that side now there's more money on this side so it could mean the price is going to drop back down but you know suddenly 100 quid could come in here and wipe that out and um, it would go up again so <laughs> it, it's it's only indications but it does give you kind of an idea you can you can kind of say well you know the markets that 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 line's going up and the market's kind of showing that it's going up so maybe that's a good time to um lay or, or or vice versa if you see more money coming in on the back side and the graph looks like it's going down then maybe it's time to get on the back side so that's basically it but you can see how much information you have and depending on how you set it up of course but you know i i like having all the columns alight and show me what's going on you can change things like the amount um how quickly um the the market updates so 200 milliseconds is quite quick actually and sometimes i think i should turn it down to about 750 which is probably nearer the way my brain works <laughs> but i just keep it at 200 um and you, there, there are other adjustments that you can make, you know, even on colours and things like that. Um, I've also got another thing highlighted which shows me how much has actually been traded when a trade does come in. And you can see that nothing's lighting up at the moment. Um, very little money coming into this market. It's 2 hours 29. There's only 17,000. So yeah, it's, um, it's a way out trade. Um, and, and so, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. And I wouldn't normally trade with only that amount of money on and this far out but i wanted to do the video early 
um, so I could get it recorded and up onto YouTube. So, yeah, if you're not sure about the ladder, um, there you go, I got traded. Just um, fire it up. You know, you can get a trial um, from Geek's Toy, um, from Bet Angel, um, and there's there's others out there as well. If you go, if you do a search for Betfair API, I'll try and put a link in the description below the video. Um, Racing Traders is another one that's used by people. So you know there there are a number of them out there that you can use, and probably more than I actually know. Um, you will find most videos on probably Bet Angel, uh, Geeks Toy, and even Racing Traders. But that's probably um, if you find something else, if you do a search for videos, you'll probably find them as well. But I would, I would make sure that you've got quite a bit of information so that you can get the graphs up and things like that just to make life a little bit more interesting. But I think if you just, you know, they've all got free trials, just down, look at the, look at the price of them, work out one that may suit your budget. I mean, a lot of the time when you actually um, sign up for the 14 days trial, um, or even a subscription, you get offers from them saying, oh, you can subscribe for a year. I mean, Bet Angel, um, if you can afford to subscribe to a year, is actually quite cheap. So, um, you know, there's plenty of ways that you can make it cheaper. Um, but, you know, it's going to pay for itself. Um, it, there's no doubt your trading will get better and, and you'll you'll make more successful trades and it will pay for itself in the end. So I wouldn't hesitate to at least do a trial on it. Um, and then see how you get on in 14 days you should be really good at it and then you can make the decision of it if the software you're using is the best one or whether you want to use another one please just before you go please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you really like the video see you soon bye bye <laughs>